Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you all a really simple and easy breakfast, lunch or dinner rules. This one can be made anytime and it's super delicious. So let me jump straight into this recipe and show you all how easy it is to make. We're going to start by sorting some aromatics. So in my frying pan I have oil and in goes pimento and chopped onions, chopped celery, chopped scallion, shredded carrots, I'm going to season with salt and allow this to saute for about two minutes. Next I'm going to go in with minced garlic and cook that out for about one minute until tender. To this I'm adding in Brunswick sardine fillets. These are boneless sardine fillets. They come clean. I'm using two different types. And I'm just going to empty it straight into that frying pan. That's how easy it is to use these new sardine fillets. And you're just going to break it apart. And if you guys wanted to use tuna or mackerel in place of the sardines, you can. Brunswick also has those. In goes one large potato boiled. And we're going to mix this and taste it, adjust your salt and then set it aside. This is our filling. To a bowl, we're going to add in milk, sugar and yeast. Give that a mix and then we'll set it aside in a warm place to proof. If your yeast does not get frothy like this, then you'll need to start over. In goes salt, one small egg, melted butter, and we're going to whisk this. I'm using my Danish dough hook to help me, and I'll leave a link for it in the description box. In goes my flour. Now I packed the flour into the cup, so that's what you want to do when you're measuring the flour for this. And we're just going to mix to bring it together. Once it comes together, I'm going to switch to my hands. Because we want to knead this until the dough is nice and smooth. Use a little bit of dry flour if you need to and knead this for five to eight minutes as I said until it's very smooth. And then we'll bring it into a bowl and I'll just lightly put some oil or butter on both sides and then we'll allow it to rest covered in a warm place. I like using my oven with a bowl of boiling water. It proofs faster. Once it's finished proofing, we're going to place it onto our work surface, punch down on it slightly, and then we'll start making our dough balls. I'm looking to get 14 rolls from this. So each of the dough balls were approximately 1.80 ounces. Now after you break out your dough ball, you're going to open them out nice and thin about five centimeters, five inches in diameter, sorry. You wanna open it out nice and thin, but not paper thin. Then we're gonna spread a tablespoon or two of that filling. And then we'll roll it into a log Seam side down and you want to go ahead and tuck in both ends. Place it on your greased or lined tray. And I'm going to get 14 of these so it's going to be 7 on the top, 7 on the bottom. And then we'll cover them and allow them to rest in that same warm oven for 15 minutes. Once it's finished proofing, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and I used an egg with milk to make an egg wash. We're just going to base that over the buns or the rolls and then bake these for 40 minutes until they're done. And look how perfect they look when they come out of the oven. These were super soft and delicious. And as I said guys, remember Brunswick also has tuna. You could use tuna in place. It makes really great with salmon also. 
So how amazing was this? I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I hope you all had a happy Easter. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.